I think Dr. Tahir mentioned a holistic approach, and, and, and as you did, um, I mean, from the outset. When we're targeting just theology or particular aspects regarding youth, it's limited, it's restricted. There's got to be a comprehensive, holistic approach. Now, my organisation that I'd started to try and uh, to get into those spaces where these radicalised individuals were going, street, strategy to reach, empower and educate teenagers. It's not just a cool name, it means something, street. What we did is we, have, we had work streams, we developed work streams. The first work stream was an outreach work stream where we did sport, um, trips, general engagement. And why did we do that? Because we found that the larger number of attendees came to those activities. In doing so, their peers who had radical tendencies, who were susceptible to violent extremism, and many of them were in gangs, were being left out and they didn't want to be highlighted in that way. So they would participate in these wider generic activities. When they saw the level of engagement, and when we were able to identify them through these processes of engagement, we moved them to the remaining three work streams. Work stream two was a base that we had, a thematic youth institute where we engaged in more con concentrated programs, peer audio visual engagement, deconstruct, um, dis as Tahir was mentioning, deconstruct programs, one-to-one -one counselling with social issues, with mental issues. And they opened up because they saw that there was a safe space, that what term has been made, a safe space, where they could engage and know they were not going to just be given um, and reported to the police as a matter of intelligence. Some of you from intelligence agency will say, well, when did you report? All of us work and adhere to a civic responsibility that if we have sure knowledge that someone is going to engage in terrorism or terrorist acts, it is incumbent upon us to report that individual. However, and this is where the partnership comes in now, the authorities, the governments, statutory bodies, <laughs> they then have to trust that those of us with the expertise up until that point know exactly what we are doing. Mm -hmm. That's work stream two. They referred other cases to us. We had many self-referrals who we kept their data, we engaged with. We didn't necessarily need to flag that up to the authorities. But when they flagged to us, we've got individuals coming out of prison through the channel program, probation services. Then, because of the arrangement we had, yes, we had to report back to them on these particular individuals, how we're engaging, what's happening in that respect. The fourth work stream was specifically deconstruct. And Tahir was going to go into detail about that, but time doesn't allow it. Where we would identify what they were looking at, look at it ourselves, deconstruct. I've got a deconstruct um, document here, 26 pages, where we would do what? What do you mean when you're looking at? Looking at what? what we mean? would look at the very material that they are looking at. The videos. The videos. The, the, the rhetoric. Yeah. We would look at that. And we would deconstruct it from the very first second to the end of that. And we have a template here which I can share with you or circulate it so you can see. And we would engage with that individual and show him or her the futility of the propaganda to inoculate them against that radicalization. Now, the question was, what is comprehensive? I've given you four work streams. Now, we're not the all singing, dancing, we do everything, okay? We do what it says on the packet. We counter-radicalise, we, de we deconstruct, we're good at that. When we see the individual has moved away from this extremism, there are other social organisations, Muslim groups, academic institutions, we then refer them over to them, knowing that what we have done has brought them away from extremism. So these activities have to be working in tandem. They have to be parallel with each other. And that's why, we, again, we say, Muslim communities, you have to come in and engage. Statutory government agencies, bodies, you need to engage. The vacuum then becomes smaller. The gravitational pull becomes weaker. And there's a joined up, multi-pronged approach that is now societal, not just on the religion. I hope that's addressed. I've gone into some detail. I hope that's, that's answered good. the question.